<sighs> hey Grubby, is there any explanation on Hammer's high win rate dispatch? Almost 55% sitting at number one. Uh, I think it's almost entirely down to the fact that Sergeant Hammers split push during objectives, siege up, and cannot be stopped by one single hero. And that's the same reason that Gaslows and Zagaras do well. You just ignore the objective, siege up opposite lane, enemy gets Punisher, you get a fort. Enemy Punisher maybe gets a fort. And that's what it comes down to. He, she, sorry, is not great at follow-up, not great at poke, has pretty unusual tankiness, but nothing, and no pun intended there, but uh, nothing special really. It's just about split push, because guess what? In this game, you need to destroy buildings. It's a good tactic as the, you know, as you're supposed to uh, win games by killing the core. What you say? <laughs> Greetings, friend. Ah, uh, Sky Temple. I hear the call. Great dismal, thanks for the sub. I appreciate it. Uh, Welsh Trollian, nice. Uh, says, uh, hello, my question is, I'd like to know what is the best use of them turret camps on Volskaya and Hanamura, thanks. Mm. Oh, this is my jam! I think it's putting it at the flank so that if an enemy melee or ranged assassin wants to flank like Li Ming, Kromi, Kerrigan you your damage will be useful there are several reasons not to place them in the middle of a fight first of all you don't know where the middle is going to be secondly it will be attacking tank Glory tank have big health pool they don't care as much thirdly the time it takes you to set up in the middle of a fight is lost DPS for you. Yeah, and fourthly, it offers no bonus vision when you put it in the middle. So if you place it at the flank, it offers vision, it covers a, covers a route, it will do more significant damage, and it doesn't reduce your in-battle DPS. Isn't Sky Temple a short map? Kind of a weird uh, question, considering it's literally a sky temple. Like, I don't know if you can go any higher than the clouds, like maybe the stratosphere. I guess Brax's holdout in theory could be like really high if you measure the distance from one planet to another as high, but it ceases to have meaning at that point. I guess the space station is pretty high, but Brax's could just be like on a planet itself. So it could be pretty low when you consider it. As for something entirely unrelated, Sky Temple can have shorter game lengths. It's true. And for this reason, you might think that late game heroes aren't as good. That's uh, that's possible. Uh, but Nazebo is not 100% that late game anymore. Plus the, the patch moved everything to a little bit more mid game. Like uh, the most recent patch made it so it's not as snowball-y. So Nazebo once again has uh, chances to compete. Pally Power 36, thanks for the sub, man. Hmm. 
Malfurion. Malfurion against Limin Kerrigan. Greetings, and Diablo. Friend. Oh, Varian. We will forge yeah, I hope, uh, give, give us the burst heals, Renzea. All we gotta do is to moonfire everyone and then we get some big burst heals. Luckily, we don't need it as much Greetings, because we have Arthur's friend. ETC, so we've got like the best peel in the game. Sloth, thanks very much for the sub, and Mike, hi. Greetings, Sorry, Mike, Hivik, and random viewer. Thanks, guys. <coughs> Is Nazebo back? I think so. I think so. I thank you. If you would be a single again, uh -huh. do you would prefer a thin and graceful woman or yeah. a strong? Lagatha SNU SNU shield made in high women. The funny thing is, Lagatha, she obviously she looks amazing in the show, Vikings, and she is strong, but she doesn't look like what you might expect a strong shield maiden to look like. They casted her as a thin and graceful woman anyway, while you having to believe that because of the braids and her weaponry and her pro prowess in fights, she is the strong snoo snoo kind of shield maiden woman. But the casting want some eye candy too so it didn't manifest itself in such a manner so i don't know uh i think it's a initially flawed comparison already don't go that way okay guys now i see but i think the better comparison would be the uh what's the blonde woman called who protects sansa and uh and the other one the little murderer spirit vispa agreement uh brienne of tarth my strike is true Fun. I'm out of Uma already. My strike would I cool. favor Brienne of Tarth ah, over Sansa Stark? Would be the question I believe you're trying to ask. I must heal, but I Brienne of Tarth, I think. Uh, I'm not afraid of a strong woman. Ah, now I see. Yeah, that's true. Lagatha, the actress, is actually a black belt. So I should probably not be talking trash about her esteemed prowess in combat. Yes. What is Snoo Snoo, by the way? I didn't ask. I strike at your heart. <laughs> What's Snoo Snoo? I feel like I should have asked. Yes. Google snoo snoo. Okay, that's how you know when you're getting uh, punked. I will not Google snoo snoo, that's for sure. Okay, maybe later at night. Just kidding. Truth 
finds you. Spirit Whisper Agreement. I hear the summon. I think I strike at your Hey Grubby, I've been watching your YouTube videos for months and thought it was time to pay you back for your content. And so I finally I decided to play ranked after 1000 games and placed in platinum but two less than three questions. Hey, very nice. Will they ever bring back Hanamura? I think wow. Uh, I'm just coming back into hot after playing mostly League and Overwatch. What do you say? There is a hero a role archetype in the game that works better for carrying games. Or yeah. is it better to understand the macro game in each map and be a flex pick? I will answer when everything right, calms down you. a bit in the game to y'all. I paid you now, Google yes. SN <laughs> you on stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much. Am I dead? Thank you. All, thank you all very much. Um, I will answer all of you with the attention that you deserve when uh, the game is over or settled down a bit, aka I feed and create some space and time continuum. Uh, I'm going to go bot lane to get a grip on that one. <sighs> Spirits guide us. My strike is true. The light of the sun grows within the temples. Soon they shall bask in my glory. The spirits whisper in agreement. Uh, if I don't have enough stacks, I'm not gonna panic. I'll just get the gargantuan upgrade. Because this is not a classical game where I can just rotate a lot uh, on account of them having Kerrigan. <laughs> My magic flows through the temples. Guardians, do not let these mortals approach me. <laughs> Yeah, I should have really placed the Gargantuan on the point. Lucio debated me, or at least I debated myself. That's my bad. Anyway, with ETC... So yeah, with ETC and uh, Thrall up, there's no way I would go anyway. control how the gargantuan is moving no it moves within the circle that is designated to it so our state of behindness is called the zagara effect even though she died four times we soaked 2k less xp and got less structures even though we're 6-2 in kills I think they might be doing the boss. Yes. 
There's like creep everywhere and we can't uh, roam safely. And that might be good for us. What a bonobo. A well placed strike. One kill is nice. Don't overchase. You don't need two kills. One kill is all you need. One kill is all you need. One kill. Da 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 one kill. Da 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 da. Can't stop, won't stop. Ah, now I see. One kill is all you need. Uh it's better after you get one kill to create space on the map. Magic flows through Somehow the temples. Well. well. Create space on the map, deep push lanes, get mercs. Hey Grubby, would you mind supporting a Spring Warcraft 3 streamer by an occasional host? I love your Warcraft streams less than three. I'd love to help you, but I'm very picky with my hosts for reasons. Keep up the good fight, grow your stream and do well. Good luck, man. That zombie wall prediction, bro. Suffer well. Kerrigan with the split push. Who wants to capture this mercenary camp? Guess we're not doing it? My Question face? We should enlist the aid of these mercenaries. Yeah, I made the right call to do the boss and I'm glad we followed through with it as well. That was really good for us. What's question face, by the way? My He's right. Without hesitation. Sigara kills top keep and they have mid shrine. Feels bad, man. Shoot. I died it. My bad, we weren't ready. That's my first death, too. Guess I wasn't. Oh, well, we didn't lose top keep. Yeah, that was bad. Ah. 
My first big mistake of the game. And <laughs> Woo, jackpot! Yeah, and I almost got my ice block back as well. No, no, no. <sighs> One debate is all it takes. Um, Pali Power says, um, will they ever bring back Hanamura? No one knows. They said they'll rework it. Actually, I... No, no, no. I heard that... No, no. Actually, did they say there's a working version of it already? Maybe. The temple's magic subsides. Find something else to fight over. Maybe they said there's a working version already. My strike is true. I go. Hmm... I thank you. Love you and your content, Grubby. Thanks, Frostball. If only all the Naz mains were as good as you less than three from your experience in casting, my team is currently having some difficulties with drafting and counter-drafting in a amateur. Leave any advice or where to go for info. Yeah, yeah. Um, again, thank you so much. After the game, for me, it's better because of the... Uh, Slight preoccupation. We must not Thank you so much. I will answer them all after the game. I did answer one, of course, already. I strike at your heart. Spirits guide us. <laughs> Bit low on the stackage. They're just safely de pushing siege. Yes. The spirits aid me. You almost never want to use zombie wall on creeps because it's quite an important cooldown. But I make an exception because I was in a rush. Now I see. Yes. My magic flows through the temples. Guardians, do not let these. We're so close to 20. We're gonna be down a keep. Two keeps if we give both temples away. We must not We found a wild bonobo in the woods. Blanket. the siege damage on the core good choice by me i think Good decision by me to Hearthstone and then not Hearthstone because we needed my damage on the core. Good decision by my team. Like, so good. The exact right amount of people went back to defend. We win. I'm so happy with that one. <laughs> yes.
Uh, that one death by me though, mid on the Sky Temple. I thought we were more behind than we really were. So, oh, I just walk forward. Hey Grubby, as a hero's addict, I can't play it myself because I can't control it. I watch you every day instead. So basically you are like a passive smoking for someone who had quit smoking. Thank you for being a top quality smoke, winking face. I'll, uh, I'll blow some smoke your way. Thank you very much, uh, Reanimator, and good luck on your quest for balance in your life. Ban him. A uh, little bit extreme, Bloopson. I went for the spider build here uh, to isolate some of their squishies. They have four squishies rather than toads. Though they have hard engage, toads will mostly hit Varian, who will parry most of the damage away. Ice block to dodge Kerrigan combo thrall. Very smartly went for spirit shield. And went for the soul harvest for HP and damage. And then reduce Gargantuan's cooldown by 40 seconds. That's how I was able to use it on the boss and then the core as well. Love uh, being able to bring Nazebo back a bit into my played roster. As he is still my ninth most played hero. And probably more like my seventh as i have used stimpak more on other heroes like hammer than on nazebo as stimpak didn't exist yet when i played him maybe the eighth most played hero